Hey guys, it's Randy Hatata from Expand Realty reaching out to you from Las Vegas again. It's still the same question, what's going on in Las Vegas? What's going on with the housing market? And uh, with that, it's not as exciting as it's been the last couple of months, but here we go. So we've been kind of at a um, uh, stable market, some call it a flat market for about, I'd say a little over a year, um, ever since interest rates rose. Then in April, uh, we had appreciation of about $5,000 from our average price point of $425,000. It increased to $430,000. Then in May, it went up a big jump, about $12,500. And then June hit, and we kind of uh, uh, leveled off again. And so we're in a pretty healthy market, a pretty balanced market. Um, some, uh, I've seen articles call it a game of, uh, game of chicken where uh, it's kind of like who's going to move is it the seller or the buyer you know as far as negotiations and offers and all that going on the good news is that um, houses are still closing properties are still closing um, we closed about 2300 uh, uh, transactions uh, in the month of June um, and as far as inventory is concerned we'll, we are still at an all-time low since uh, uh, tied with 1999. We're at about 1 1.6 month supply of inventory and on a, on a regular healthy market that favors the sellers, a healthy market would be about a three month supply. Again, we're at a very, very low supply at 1.6, but the thing that's offsetting it and combating low inventory is high interest rates. So, you know, the, that is why um, our market is kind of like leveled off right now. And to me, if, if uh, financially and our economic market follows what our financial analysts are predicting, then interest rates will eventually drop. They didn't drop according to the uh, prior opinion or prior hypothesis by our financial analysts simply because our government decided to, well, they had to pay off their debt and they issued bonds such uh, giving them short-term loans to pay off this debt. When they're the normal buyer for bonds, they became the seller. And with this change, it kind of held interest rates high. Anyways, that's my basic understanding of what has happened. But eventually these bonds will get bought and eventually interest rates should dip. Now, when that happens, I know the buyers are all here because of the growth of Las Vegas, and a lot of them are just waiting on the sideline, waiting for interest rates to dip. But by the time that happens, what will happen is that all the buyers that are waiting will jump into the market overnight, and we'll go back to the crazy market we had most likely during the COVID years where people would outbid each other and there would be frenzies of offers and bidding and bidding wars and whatnot, creating major appreciation. And I believe supply will still continue to be low. So with high demand and low supply, I believe our market will, will start increasing again. Um, and yes, Vegas may become an unaffordable state if it keeps that trend, which it probably will because of the growth, you know, with um, not only population, but major, major, uh, uh, major major projects underway such as the Oakland Athletics coming to Las Vegas taking the place of the Tropicana Hotel F1 coming to the Las Vegas Strip Formula One um, and uh, about 20 some billion dollars worth of projects still happening here in Las Vegas including the train from Los Angeles to southern um, southern Las Vegas uh, so all of these things are happening uh, we predict the growth of our population to continue um, to climb um, and I also believe that because we're in somewhat of a recession as things get tougher on our bordering states California or maybe even across the ocean from the from Hawaii where I'm from I think a lot of people will be coming to Las Vegas for job opportunity created by these major projects I just spoke about um, there's also other casinos opening there's the Fontaine Blue that's going to open up shortly. There's Durango Station right across the street from our office going to open up shortly. And many, many other opportunities for new jobs. So I do believe that the population will grow. I believe uh, the job opportunities will grow. And thus, Vegas will continue uh, price-wise to climb in the near future. But 
here's the brutal truth if people and buyers are maybe first time home buyers maybe using an fha program with limited down payment maybe a veteran using a va loan but you know they have or don't want to use too much cash out of pocket you're utilizing these types of loans you might be pushed out of the market if you wait to interest rates to drop and you know the market favors the seller at that time because what happens in that kind of crazy world that we just came out of is that people will outbid thus a lot of the time if you have financing there will be appraisal concerns and keep in mind that the appraisal is there not really to protect the buyer it's there to protect the lender from over lending that's why they do it mandatorily for most loans and so as you bid above what the market supports if the appraisal doesn't hit that value then someone has to either um either the seller has to drop the price usually or the buyer has to come out of pocket to pay that appraisal deficiency to um, accept it offer price uh, which could be whatever the amount is and a lot of buyers don't have that that um, out-of-pocket capital and so you know they're directly competing if you're in that market um, as an owner occupant you're directly competing with other investors you're competing with hedge funds that come in cash and some of them come all the way up to full price in that type of market uh, market value which is a win because market value used to be a win when everyone is you know bidding and offering up here so for a buyer to get at market was a win um, and hedge funds were paying up to market up to about four or four hundred fifty thousand dollars cash and that is why it was so hard for fha va and first-time home buyers to acquire homes because they had to compete with cash offers thus there was no concern for the seller um, about having appraisals um, being met and whatnot so if you're a buyer considering to buy in the near future you either have to be really prepared to jump in as soon as interest rates dip because if you're on the bandwagon a little after that you're going to be competing against the rest of the world that are on the sidelines waiting to buy and this is a reality um, that will probably um, happen if everything that is trending happens the way uh, we think it's going to um, so be careful with that sellers this is something for you guys to understand as well is that it, you know it really depends on your situation but this is the type of market we're in this is the type of market we will be in once interest rates dip so whether you're in the market to buy or sell there are strategies for both sides um, and buyers keep in mind um, there's a slogan out there a meme if you may that says you know marry the house date the rate and what that means is get in while you can get in while it's a little easier for buyers to get in with less competition and then if interest rates and the financing platform gets better then refinance or you sell their concessions now while negotiations are minimal um, or not minimal while negotiations are happening and have the seller potentially buy down your interest rate right now so you can lock in at a lower interest rate um, and just for a note about four hundred fifty thousand dollar purchase ten thousand dollars buys down your interest rate about seven eighths of a point so you can save almost a point with ten thousand dollars which you could potentially get the seller to buy down including new builders just make sure you talk to your realtor about that um and that's why you need a realtor even with new builds because there's a lot of different strategies that favor uh you know whatever strategy it is you're taking to combat interest rates so you know consult your realtor Consult us if, you, um, if you're comfortable with us and uh, we'd be happy to go over strategy, over um, uh, future planning and over uh, basically the entire buying or selling process from start to beginning. Uh, I'm sorry, start to finish. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. You, you know, it, it is a free consultation and we'd be happy to help you. Our goal is to educate the world and there are no strings attached that's why we're doing videos like this that is why uh, we're reaching out to you guys to try and add value to the world as a person and as a company um, but we're going to continue to do this and so please take advantage of that we are pounding the pavement every day getting educated every day and improving every day 
for your benefit. So let us know how we can help and we look forward to hearing from you. Other than that, uh, happy hunting, happy selling, enjoy Las Vegas, and be careful of the hot weather because I heard we're gonna hit the uh, extreme uh, 100 temperatures uh, coming up this weekend. So stay cool, hopefully uh, get wet in a pool or something and uh, take care. Have a great day, have a great weekend.